In this episode, we'll be changing the hydraulic filters, the foam breather filter, as well as refilling the swing gearbox oil. It may not seem like a big deal, and it may not be a big deal for a long time, but eventually, if you don't change this, it will be. Welcome to Service Call, a mechanic's guide to service, troubleshooting, and repair. In the next couple episodes, we are going to follow Sean as he performs a thousand hour service on this PC200 LC-8. If you're only interested in specific maintenance items, we've created a shorter and more to the point versions of each task, which we'll link in the description. Underneath this cover right here is where the hydraulic filters are. Before we go too far, we should make sure that there's no pressure in the tank. So we just pop that loose. Okay, there's no, no pressure in there right now. So I'm gonna go and break these loose. Holy cow. Oh. Oh. Josh did this one. Teamed up with Andre the Giant. Oh, there we go. So this is the spring for the bypass that gets set in on the top of the filter. So we don't have any pressure in the hydraulic tank, but what we do have is we need to loosen this cap off. It is slowly draining down. But if I open this cap up a little more, we can get that level to drop a bit quicker, hopefully. Wow, not draining very quickly. So what this bypass valve does is that in the event that the filter is plugged and oil cannot get through the filter, you don't wanna cavitate your pump and cause a bunch of wear prematurely. Uh, but you also don't want to uh, contaminate your entire system. But if you draw in a bunch of air, what you're going to end up doing also is causing a lot of premature wear that way as well. So what's inside of this bypass valve is a screen. So this screen will catch any fines that would otherwise just go straight down into the... Uh, hydraulic tank and get picked up and go through the hydraulic pump. What you can't tell is that from this, looking at it this way, is there is a fine mesh on the inside. There's actually two layers of fine mesh. Our hydraulic filters. Here's our new hydraulic filter going in. There's a little bit of a, a spigot in there, which is like a tube that com comes up that this sits around. And then we have this screen here, our bypass valve, the bypass valve spring. All right, so again, don't be lazy change the o-ring it's a very very minor cost and it can save you some hassle it may not seem like a big deal and it may not be a big deal for a long time but eventually if you don't change this it will be you'll get moisture in there and you'll get water in your hydraulic oil and it just it degrades your your oil quickly make sure that you change it let's give this a quick wipe more so that I don't drop it. I do a cross pattern to kind of make sure that it goes down evenly. If you, and if you over tighten one side, 
It may not seem like it, but what you'll get is a little bit of uh, deflection. So the like the plate will will torque down just slightly, like too much on this side, and then when you tighten down this side, it kind of warps the plate. So you just want to do like a, you don't want to go down really snug, like really tight, just kind of like down, 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 and then go along afterwards and make sure that everything's snug. So the one other thing we got to do while we're here, we'll have to go and grab it, is the uh, screen that goes here, or not the screen, the uh, little piece of foam here for the vent. So I'll go get that. So here we have the little foam uh, breather filters that we're gonna put on our cap. We only need one, but we get a pack of two. Okay, so I'm just gonna squeeze this over. Just wanna make sure that it's not twisted or caught in the spring that's underneath this cap here. Go right like that, nice and uniform. Just a little wipe. What this filter does, or, or screen, I guess, vent, filter, screen, whatever. As the uh, machine warms up, you build pressure inside the tank and air wants to come out. So this allows air to come out. So as it cools, air gets drawn back in. So what you don't want to draw back in is dirt. So this little filter here, the screen, whatever you want to call it, uh, this will prevent dirt, dust, and debris from being drawn into the hydraulic tank along with the air and moisture. Sean has reinstalled the swing gearbox oil plug and now we're going to fill it back up while we are still up here. All right, so here we are. We're going to refill the swing gearbox. I have my pail pump, 30 weight oil. It's in the tube. We need about 7.1 liters. I'm not really sure what that, uh, how many pumps that is, but we'll just get our level down to say around here and we'll check it. And uh, yeah, just kind of take it from there. Just a note. Pulling the dipstick out is going to allow air to come out through there rather than trying to come out past this, the oil that's going in. So we won't get a big blurp out the uh, tube. Here's what Sean meant about that. Ooh, got to slow it down. This is pouring out. Ooh. Ugh. There. There. That'll alleviate that issue. This may be kind of boring. Do my eyes deceive me? It looks like we're on the mark. Wow. Wow, we are on the mark. I don't know if you can see that well in the camera, but we're right here, just above the line. Bam. My mom calls me super cool. I'm gonna put that in with no context. <laughs> Tune in next time to watch Sean service the final drives. Now, you did see a bit of oil come out of this one here, but that's only because old guys over there didn't line it up very well. But we'll get over it. The air filters, as well as the cabin air filter. Oh, oh. Oh, you want to get a look, shot of that? And holy sh... Look at that. I'm Sean, and I fix... And if you want to learn how to fix it too, like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like any information in regards to filters that we've used in our videos or lubricants, visit FortisHD.com.